Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Ahmed and I'll be your host. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Jenkins server in the AWS EC2 machine. Uh, because mostly we have seen how to set up Jenkins server in our local machine. But uh, whenever you will be creating uh, some real, real world projects, okay? At that time, you need to set up uh, these things in the cloud instance. So today, uh, so in this video, actually, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up this Jenkins server, okay, in your uh, AWS EC2 instance, okay. So if you don't know, EC2 instance is a service. So here, actually, we can get virtual machine. So there, actually, we can uh, do the status and all, okay. And uh, if you don't know what is Jenkins, uh, Jenkins is an automated CI CD tool. So actually, uh, it basically helps you to do the uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment. Uh, if you want to learn more about Jenkins, so just try to explore, okay? Uh, and I, I'm expecting like you are already familiar with the Jenkins, okay? So instead of talking too much, let's start with the setup. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in with my AWS account. So I'll just search AWS uh, console, okay? So here I'm going to sign in to my console. So uh, I'm expecting uh, actually you should have uh, this uh, AWS account, otherwise uh, you can't do the setup, okay? So you can create this account and uh, uh, whenever you will be creating uh, a new account okay you will be creating actually free tier access also okay so you can use that free so you'll be uh, getting some uh, free credits okay um, in this aws account you can log in with your root account either you can log in with your im user it's fine but uh, make sure whenever you are creating your im user you have the ec2 uh, ec2 machine full access okay otherwise actually you won't be able to do it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna log in with my root root user so let's uh, give my email here so I need to provide my password. Okay, so now let's sign in. So now what you need to do, just uh, search here EC2. Okay, so this EC2 service I'm going to use and this is a, a virtual service in the cloud. Okay, now let's click on the EC2. So basically, first of all, you need to launch our instance, okay, here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to just uh, click here, launch launch instance. And uh, here, just uh, give your uh, instance name. So let's give uh, uh, Jenkins, Jenkins demo, okay. Now uh, here you need to select a virtual machine. So here I'm going to select the Ubuntu machine. So here you can take older version of Ubuntu, okay, it's fine, but I will take this uh, 22.04 LTS, okay. Um, this machine actually I'm going to select. And what is the instance type actually I have selected? You can see it's like T2 micro. Uh, and it's like a, um, uh, it is eligible for free tire because it won't be charging anything for me. Uh, so I'm going to select this one. Uh, you can uh, select uh, this instance type uh, as per your requirement, okay? If you, ha if you have like big projects, at that time you can take a bigger machine. But uh, mostly actually I'm, I'm going to show you the setup. So I'm not going to take the bigger machine. So T2 micro is fine for me, okay? So make sure you have selected this one. Now you need to, uh, select your uh, uh, key pair here okay so key pair actually you can uh, select your previous key pair so for me it is uh, already there uh, so i will select this puppy for me so if you want to create a new pair just click here okay and create your uh, uh, like new key pair okay it's fine but for me it is already created so i will just select uh, my one now what i'm going to do so in the network settings uh, you just uh, check mark these two box uh, allow http traffic from internet and uh, http okay https and http these two things you need to make allow so now uh, everything is fine so i will uh, take this default default configuration i'm not going to change anything here so now let's uh, launch the instance so it will take some time let's wait uh, so yes uh, it's done now let's uh, view our instance now if you see it's pending status is uh, still pending now just do refresh here so after some times you will see it's running okay so whenever it's running so then we'll be starting with our setup now let's refresh so guys you can see my instance is running so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here and uh, i will just click on the connect because i need to connect with my machine okay then i will be able to do the setup so here basically you can connect uh, this uh, ec2 machine okay in a various way either you can uh, uh, connect with your ssh client okay it's fine but wh what i'm going to do here uh, because here i'm not using any ssh client so so here what i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, launch this uh, uh, terminal okay inside this aws only so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here uh, just collect, uh, connect okay just make sure you have selected this one ec2 instance connect okay and if you want to do 
uh, HHS cl uh, client. Okay, so just click here, and this is the link for HHS client, and and you have generated one key file, right? I, like um, uh, for me, it, it was buppy.pem. So this uh, file actually you need. Okay, just. Uh, pass the file path so it would be able to uh, make the security check okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here and i'll just click here connect okay now it will launch one new tab for me and here actually it will give me one terminal so guys you can see uh, this is the terminal i got and this is my and this is my instance i have launched and uh, this is my one to machine so i'm inside my one to machine so now what i so what i'm going to do I'm just going to clear this terminal and if I do ls so I think there won't be nothing okay and if you want to see the hidden file so you can write ls hyphen l okay so you can see all the hidden files are there okay so I don't need the hidden files so now what I'm going to do so I need to update this machine so what I'm going to do I'm going to just write sudo uh, apt update okay so it will basically upgrade your Ubuntu machine okay with the required packages and all okay so now let's run it so it's uh, getting updated okay so update is done for me so i'm going to clear the terminal again so now uh, what you need to do here uh, before uh, installing the jenkins server okay so what you need you need uh, java install in your instance otherwise uh, jenkins won't run because jenkins has been implemented with java and uh, for running the jenkins okay uh, you need uh, java setup okay in the instance otherwise uh, it won't be running okay so so what i'm so what i'm going to do here so i'm going to install java uh, so for, to install the java so what you, what is the command you need to write just write sudo okay sudo apt install sudo apt install uh, open jdk so here you need to basically mention your version of the java okay you want to download so uh, here actually i'm defining 8 okay open jdk uh, 8 version i will be installing so just write 8 either you can also install 11 okay it's up to you but here i'm going to use open jdk 8 okay so now just write uh, jdk and hyphen y okay so this is the command to install the java okay in this ubuntu machine so now let's run it so guys uh, installation is done for me so now i'm going to again clear my terminal and now actually uh, we are ready to install our uh, jenkins server okay so for that uh, just uh, you need to visit one website just write uh, uh, pkg okay pkg.jenkins.io uh, okay so this is the website you need to visit so for me actually i have launched one ubuntu machine and i think you already know ubuntu is like a debian based OS, okay so that's why i need to select this debian stable so just click here and these are the command to install a jenkins okay to launch the jenkins servers inside inside our instance okay so now let's copy one by one first of all i'm going to copy this one so basically what you need to do uh, so you can read here this is the debian package repository of jenkins to automate installation and upgrade okay to uh, use this repository first you, uh, you need to add this key to, okay to in your system so basically whenever you will be running this command okay it will add one key okay in your uh, instance so that um, whenever you will be installing jenkins okay uh, it would be able to uh, install the repository and all okay so now let's uh, launch this machine and again just paste the command here and let's execute so it's done now i will again come here and copy the second command copy and uh, let's paste here okay it's done for me now finally i'm going to uh, upgrade my uh one to instance again so it's done now let's copy the second command okay finally now i'm ready to install jenkins so this this is the command just copy and let's clear my terminal and let's and let's paste here i will give yes now guys you can see it's uh, downloading the jenkins okay from this url Now guys you can see it's being installed okay so it is already done done installation so is there any new command so okay so you don't have to run this at the command okay it's not required so actually basically we have uh, successfully installed uh, 
Jenkins okay in this instance so now actually we, we need to uh, start the Jenkins server okay so for that we, we have to run some of the command but uh, before that if you want to check your Java okay Java version which Java you have installed so you can also check so for that there is a command just write Java uh, hyphen hyphen version okay just write Java hyphen version so here you can see uh, this open JDK version so you can see open JDK version 11.0.17 uh, we have installed it, I guess, I guess right? Uh, okay, because uh, this is the command actually we have run uh, sudo apt um, get installed, uh, okay? And you will see we are uh, trying to install OpenJDK uh, 11, okay? So that is actually it has changed the version because it needs that version to run the uh, Jenkins, okay? So it's fine, okay? Uh, so it's already running. Now to start the server, uh, you need to write a command. Just write sudo uh, systemctl. systemctl and uh, just write uh, sudo systemctl start uh, jenkins okay now you need to enable the jenkins so for that just again write again write sudo systemctl uh, instead of start you need to replace with enable okay now uh, let's check the status it's running or not so for that there is a command uh, sudo systemctl status jenkins status okay now guys you can see it's active and running so we have successfully set up jenkins server uh, inside our ec2 instance okay inside our ec2 machine i think you know jenkins basically uh, by default runs uh, in the port of 8080 uh, now let's try to access okay uh, whether we can access or not otherwise we'll do some uh, you can say security setup okay uh, security group setup actually it, it it required here so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on my instance and here you will uh, see one public ip address okay just copy the address and paste it here and at the last just write 8080 port okay because by default jenkins will occupy this 8080 port okay it will be running on this port you can change this port also okay it is also possible but uh, let's uh, set up this port okay in, inside our instance so here actually uh, it, it is not able to access because uh, this port actually we haven't set up so if you want to set up this port just uh, again go go to your instance so there actually will see uh, something called security just click on the security and here uh, you will see option security groups okay just uh, security group just uh, click on the edit in bound rules and here just click on this one add a rule okay so here just select uh, custom tcp okay it's fine now here just uh, mention your port so i'll just define 8080 uh, and uh, just select this one the first one okay so now once it is done just save the rules okay it's done for me now again i will go here and i will refresh this page now guys you can see it is able to uh, access this port okay and now my jenkin is running here and now what you need to uh, to unlock this uh, jenkins so uh, you need to copy this path okay and again go to uh, your instance and here just write sudo cat basically i need one uh, security uh, you can see here i need one uh, security code okay security password uh, secure password to enter uh, inside my uh, jenkins okay so let's go inside just write uh, sudo cat and just paste this part path okay now if i execute now this is the secret key so i'll just copy so here actually i'm going to paste this one now just click on the continue uh let's save it so it's done now actually here it is telling to install some plugins for jenkins so you can select the install suggested plugins so actually it is going to install all the suggested plugins okay for your jenkins like uh, such as plugins means suppose inside jenkins actually you need some plugins so by default it will set up uh, these are the plugins like um, pipeline is there git is there okay uh, so these are the pl plugin actually it's required if you need some other plugins so you can also set up this one now guys uh, plugin installation is done now we need to give your username let's give username so i'll give int puppy and let's give some password here okay and uh, let's again give that password and you can give your full name so i'll give bappi hamid and let's give your email address okay and uh, 
Now let's click on save and continue. I will click on save and finish. And it's ready to use. Okay, now just click on start using Jenkins. Uh, and it's done guys you can see this is the Jenkins dash dashboard okay now you can uh, start creating your pipelines here okay uh, this is your account okay so here actually you can uh, change all the configuration later on so yes guys uh, this was all about this video I think you have liked it okay and uh, I think now you know like how to set up this Jenkins server okay inside your AWS instance so just try to use it okay try to say uh, make this setup okay in, in your account also so yes guys if you have liked this video uh, just give a like and try to subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming up uh, with a new new topic okay as much as i can uh, so yes guys uh, this was all about from my side uh, thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time